Hey everyone, Phil Carrick here. I'm up here on the top right of your screen and um, I was just going through a bit of a, a Google search and um, I was searching for Phil Carrick reviews because I always like to see, you know, um, what's being said and um, I, um, I see the Trust Pilot, thankfully, you know, 21 five-star reviews. I don't know why it's giving me a rating of 4.6, but anyway, I mean, by all means, you can have a look at that and Phil Carrick, but... But also, as you scroll down, there's also some video reviews as well about me. But one of the reasons why I'm I'm sort of making this video um, is I noticed Phil Carrick fraud. And here's the thing, guys and girls, if you're not aware of something like this, okay? Um, this is what's called a uh, a scam blog website, okay? And and people basically go out and they and they create a, a blog post on a well-known marketer. Now, I wouldn't class myself as a well-known marketer. These people must clearly be desperate, okay? They, you know, they, they, the wording's not very good, uh, but in fairness, I do think that um, English isn't this person's uh, first language. But anyway, this is what happens with these types of websites. They... They, um, they write blog posts and create videos, etc., on a well-known marketer followed by the word scam. And have you noticed, or, or fraud, and have you noticed that the, um, <clears throat> the question mark has got a space between fraud and the question mark? Yeah, and you often find that with the word scam as well, okay? Because they want to actually rank for the keyword which is which is basically a a a phrase that you type into the google search they want to rank for the keyword phil carrick fraud or phil carrick scam and there's a reason why they want to do that let's just click on it okay and i want to talk you through it because i think it's it's a little bit naughty to be quite honest okay <clears throat> because what they have is they have they have google adsense okay this is basically an ad all right, and I know this guy here, Dan, Dan Wardrobe anyway. All right, I know a lot of marketers, guys and girls. But anyway, this, this person who owns online web services is not this person. I just, want to, I just want to emphasize the fact that this is what's called Google AdSense. So if anybody clicks on this, which I'm certainly not going to, this person here, online web services, gets a commission. Okay, so straight away, there's one avenue of revenue for online web services that's why they that's why they um they create they create posts on a keyword such as phil carrick fraud and again look i mean there's a space after the fraud that's because they want to rank in google or the search engines for that so anyway he's clearly said uh, English is a second language. Fair enough. Okay, uh, we'll not, we'll not get on to that. Okay, but look, as you can see, look, another ad. Yeah, over here, engage customers, drive leads, increase sales. Okay, fair enough. Um, the, he's trying to get your name and email address. Sign me up. Nothing wrong with that. Look, okay, look at that. Another ad. Further down, another ad. Yeah, further down another ad selling russell brunson's network and secrets okay that is all this guy is doing look down here look at this another one right another one another one okay can you see where i'm sort of getting at ad 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 this is just written really to to um to try it's a bit of a sleazy way to to get um to make money and to build an email list because he that this person is is trying to rank for Phil Carrick fraud and he's obviously doing that because it's on page one now in my defense okay um here we go look if we go down here continue read Phil Carrick fraud can you see look online business guy can you see anywhere where this person if he's got a real problem with me okay um he's put his name and maybe a contact email address okay i can understand if he hasn't got a contact email address you don't want to get spammed 
okay? But he hasn't even got a name. So therefore, I can't go back on my records and check to see whether or not this so-called complaint, yeah, I mean, it's debatable, but I can't, look, I can't categorically say that he hasn't got, you know, a justified reason. I really don't know because I don't even know who this person is. All right. So look, please, guys and girls, I know where, look, he can't even spell my name right. Okay. Doesn't matter if English isn't his second language. Somebody else has written this, guys. Somebody else. Some, because look, Phil Carrick spelt correctly. Phil Carrick spelt wrongly. Okay. I would wager a bet that somebody um, has been outsourced to write this, whereby English isn't their first language. Philippines, India, etc. Okay, that's probably what's happened. That's what a lot of these people do. All right, so just be very, very wary of things like this, guys and girls. All right, um, especially from so-called web services, right, that don't have their name. And look, even if you go up here, contact us, contact us, okay? All right, Google form, nothing, no name, nothing. Look at this, car finance, what's all that about? Yeah, car finance, yeah, ridiculous. Let's see, coaching coaching yeah all right okay so start a coaching service mm -hmm. okay funny old thing i uh, th they probably don't even appear in this video okay action steps yeah all right let's connect any names anywhere no about us let's have a look hopefully you'll prove me wrong here about us maybe there is a name here nothing absolutely nothing okay they don't even have the correct correct signups as well look they don't even have the gdpr um disclaimer to sign me up so straight away this is an illegal website guys and girls okay so just be very very careful i've i've actually left a um i've left a post here let me just see let me see if I can show you this. And I'm actually going to link to this website, so I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them a free. Um, I'm going to give them a free backlink. That's just how nice I am. And I'm going to put this on my website as well. All right, but no, it, it's not showing me. Sorry about this. But in actual fact, what I did was um, I went on here and I left a comment. Okay, so let's see. Cami says, whoever the hell Cami is. Okay, but I left a reply and I said, basically, look, if there's a reason for your complaint, please let me know. But I'd be, you know, I'd appreciate your name so at least I can check my uh, my data, any any transactions, anything like that, okay? So we'll see whether or not my reply actually gets approved and you see it on here, eh? That, that'll be interesting. So we'll... we'll We'll see. And of course, if I get anything back and anything positive, I'll add another video below this post and um, and we'll take it from there. But again, just be wary of these things, guys and girls. Yeah, not everything is what it seems. So thanks for watching. I know I've gone on a bit and uh, appreciate your time. Take care.